celebrating Go Past My Rescue Attempt December 2011 Care for Cows in Vrindavan New Shed Nears Completion Care for Cows in Vrindavan CFC Trustees Kerma Rupa Dasa Hansa Rupa Dasa Vraja Mohan Dasa Hadivalabha Dasa Radha Govinda Dasa Amit Dalani Patrons Mahanahai Swami Maharaja CFC Staff Kesi Nisadana Dasa Braja Gopal Dasa, Switzerland, Puri Maharaja Razamandala Dasi Radha Patti Dasa Syam Hari, Vijay, Ravi, Sukumar, Santosh, Tej Prakash, Ajit Editor Kerma Rupa Dasa Contributing Editor, Satyadeva Singh Care. Four Cows in Vrindavana is inspired by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Founder Acharya International Society for Krishna Consciousness Dear Friends, what follows is the dedication of a book entitled The Cow the Mother of Prosperity by Ralph A. Haynes, an American cow lover from the 1930s. Jayasri Guru Jayasri Gopala Jayasri Gomata CAReferCows.org Care for Cows in Vrindavan is a charitable trust registered in India, USA, and Switzerland. The CFC staff the cow one of the greatest blessings to the human race no nation or people has become highly civilized without her. She possesses the best human food on earth. She makes this health building, strength giving food from grass and coarse plants. She produces not only food for her young and her keeper's family, but a surplus besides to sell. Without her agriculture is not permanent or prosperous, people are not healthy or happy. Where the cow is kept and cared for, civilization advances, lands grow richer, homes grow better debts grow fewer. Truly, the cow is the mother of prosperity. For better cows better cared for Ralph A. Hain what follows is a portion of Chapter 10 of the Gopalaprava camp by Srila Jiva Goswami which describes Krishna's first days supervising the calves which is the event celebrated on Gopastamai. 1. I worship the last part of the Kalmra period experienced by Krishna and Balarma, in which they have given up drinking from the breast, are growing constantly and becoming more and active their eyes are constantly open for new games to play and their mouths always filled with laughter. Their curiosity is boundless and they seek out their friends to enjoy their company and they grow more interested in surveying the calves. 2. Balarma's skin was white, but he wore blue cloth, Krishna was swarthy, but his cloth yellow. They had become expert in learning to blow the buffalo horn and eager to play in the company of their friends, the two princes astonished in many ways. 3. By this time, they had gradually come to wear a cloth all the time. For example, Krishna wore the cloth in which his mother had carefully dressed him, but quickly undid it himself, considering it to be a bondage. Then again he would ask for and wear it, but with little regard for modesty, considering half a cloth to be enough. 4. When he had arrived at this age, then Rama and Krishna would both go all the time with their father while he pastured the cows and wander all about the woods. The two boys, Rama and Krishna went into the woods climbing into the arms of affectionate uncles and into those of their father. They asked the identity of everything they saw there, and bestowed joy on everyone. Five there, even though they were held back by the elders, they played very competitively with each other, trying first to simultaneously bring a pair of cows, then two pairs and go past to my then a group of six cows under control. Afterwards, they would run quickly after each other through the herds, separating the cows who had gotten mixed in with the oxen, and boldly controlling recalcitrant cows and bulls by taking hold of their horns. Then they would catch the animals in groups of five. 6. After a few days had thus passed, when the queen of the Vraja became aware of these activities, she chastised her husband in words born out of her love for Krishna, what is this unheard of activity that you are doing, then? Being somewhat distressed and embarrassed, Nanda started to deceive the boys and go to the forest alone, giving his permission to each of the two boys' mothers to affectionately restrain them from going themselves. 7. Being thus restrained, the two boys became even more anxious to go out, and so they cried. Feeling like this, they soon decided to go secretly to see their father, and they left the house, but not being able to determine the path taken by Nanda, and giving joy to his friends, they went outside the settlement and joined the boys taking care of the calves there and took pleasure in playing and caring for the calves with them. 8. 
When the king and queen soon realized that the two boys had done this several times, even though they felt glad, they feared for possible future difficulties and decided between them. If the two boys are not able to remain tranquil without staying with the cows, then let us allow them to take care of the calves in the immediate vicinity of the settlement. 9. Then the king wisely conferred together with his brothers and others who knew the mantras, and had an exact time for the ceremony determined by the knowers of the tantras. Then the invocation of the auspicious day was recited, and finally the boys were initiated into the care of the calves. 10. Many other older cowherds also took a holiday and feeling happiness in their minds, made their own little boys become calf herders with the two brothers. At the beginning of the day, Balarma and Krishna were made beautiful by their mothers who bathed and dressed them, gave them food to eat, clothes to wear, decorated them with jewelry and gave them sticks, ropes, flutes and horns to carry. 11. When sandals were brought to him to wear, Krishna immediately rejected them, No, no, certainly not. If we wear shoes then the essence of our religious duty of respect for cows, the wealth which has come down to us through the generations, will be adversely affected. Celebrating Gopastamai Madhava Priya Devi celebrates Gopastamai by feeding cows one of their favorite fruits bananas. Here she is saluted by Laksmai who she has sponsored for the past five years. Above, the calves anxiously await their share of ladus and bananas left, Suradasi gracefully accepts the honor of being worshipped on behalf of the herd. Right, Danishvara Dasa performs Go Puja as the 200 plus guests perform Kirtana. Above, on Go Pastamai many young ladies dress as Gopas for the pleasure of Krishna. Left, Amala Purana Dasa of the Sri Sri Krishna Balarama Curtain Party leads curtain in the barnyard as the cows and guests participate. Below left, guests shower affection on the residents of care for cows. The white bull is our prize Tarparka sire who was donated to us by Panchartna Dasa of Jaipur. Below, Nanda Kisor Dasa is the nephew of the famous cow protector Satish Kumar of Goraksha Dal Punjab. Here Nanda Kisor proudly holds a newborn calf named Krishna. Left, guests feed the herd ladus and bananas. The best way to get the blessings of cows is to feed them well. Above and left, Kesava Dasa plays harmonium and sings the glories of the Lord for the pleasure of the cows. Right, after the cows are fed and groomed to their satisfaction, the human guests are offered a seven-course feast in honor of Krishna and Balarama's first taking the calves out to pasture. The crane hoists the first section of the metal dome roof and sets it in place. Our new cow sheet at Kiki Nagla nears completion after several delays the Proflex domed roof is completed. A group of 30 men and women, including a kitchen crew, work tirelessly to get the roof in place in two days. The new shed is 50 feet by 150 feet and will feed 200 cows at a time. The roof is 22 feet high at the apex and creates a feeling of being outside. It is guaranteed to last 25 years and will provide our herd shelter from the sun and rain while allowing for ample circulation of fresh air. The interior will provide feeding sections for residents of different age groups. Above, members of the herd look forward to graduating from their temporary bamboo shed to the spacious new facility. Below, Kesi Nisadana Krishnadasa inspects the construction of the feeders underneath the spacious dome. Kate Anya Swami visits Kate Anya Swami, Center, Mr. Nair, Right, and Kesi Nisadana, Left, visits Care for Cows Kate Anya Swami and 350 of his followers from Kerala, South India recently spent two weeks in Sri Vrindavan Dhamma. They were hosted by our close friend Mr. Nair, managing trustee of the Che Shekhar Mandir near Sundrak village. Kate Anya Swami previously visited Care for Cows and states that we have inspired him to create a similar shelter for cows in Kerala. He is gravely concerned that though Kerala is 100% literate and affluent, due to the influence of Christianity and Islam the citizens are losing their Vedic roots and many have taken up the bad habit of meat-eating. Maharaja stated that Kerala is one of the few states where cow slaughter is legal and wants to create awareness about the virtues of cow protection. He is confident that if he creates a gosh ala where visitors can interact with gentle, loving cows, their hearts may be inspired to give up the foul habit of meat-eating and return to their culture. 
Last year at this time you might have read about how my pelvis was fractured when a huge bull tried to mount me in the middle of the Parikrama path, CFC Newsletter November 2010. That incident put me in distress but thanks to care for cows, I've survived. After being reunited with my calf and recovering from the fracture, I was told that Rosamondala Devi from Australia had volunteered to sponsor me and my calf and that she had named us Nagnajiti and Ambuja respectively. Needless to say, I was grateful but wondered what would inspire someone from so far away to sacrifice a portion of their earnings to maintain a mother and son she had never met. Later I heard through the grapevine that Rosamondala Devi was cultivating a secret desire in her heart to retire from all wish-fulfilling cow by Nagnajiti excerpt from Kalyan magazine by Ashok Kumar Gupta Srihari. In 1976 during my first year in Sanatan Dharma Vidi Ilaya, Kanpur I was going to a place called Gwaltalai to see my aunt and celebrate the Raksha Bandhan festival. On the way I passed a pork shop and saw two butchers tying a pig in preparation to kill it. It was 9 a.m. and as soon the pig understood the ill intentions of her captors she panicked and began squealing with all her strength. Her distress caught the attention of some cows and buffaloes who were passing by on the way to graze in a nearby field. Upon hearing the pig's pitiful voice, one cow became enraged, pointed her horns towards the two butchers and attacked. Seeing the angry cow attacking, both butchers fled to save their lives while the cows chased them for a considerable distance. One sympathetic witness untied the pig who swiftly disappeared. When Gomata returned from chasing the butchers she was greeted by the cheers of the people who had gathered at the pork shop. In great happiness they cried Gomata ki jaya, again and again. I paid my humble obeisances to Gomata and reflected on how she is merciful to all living beings. All glories to Gomata. Material affairs and live in a holy place in India that she carefully planned how to extract herself from her family responsibilities and career and that she had made a two-year plan to accomplish this. Since she had selflessly sponsored me and Ambuja as well as six others, I decided to reciprocate with her and open some doors so she could fulfill her dream. We cows have connections, you know. We are dear to Sri Gopal who can accomplish any task so I requested him to fulfill Rasamandala's desire and guess what? She is here looking after me and Ambuja personally. When you row someone across the river, you also get to the other side. Below, Nagnajiti and Ambujan homeopathic vets serve CFC. Our old friend Wenda Shihada from England is traveling around India with three homeopathic veterinarians encouraging Gosh Alas to use homeopathic treatments. Since we have suffered from poor results using allopathic medicines we are anxious to change over. Dr. Tim Cousins is the vet who spent almost a full day offering free advice on how to treat several members of our herd. Left he examines Gopi who has a chronic lung problem. She was suffering from high fever and he administered a homeopathic remedy which was very effective in bringing her temperature to normal. He prescribed a treatment and told us to keep her as warm as possible as the November nights are getting colder. On the right she can be seen wearing her winter coat. Dr. Cousins and Wenda provided care for cows with an extensive list of common diseases and corresponding homeopathic remedies. We are treating several Dr. Tim Cousins and Wenda Shihada examine Rathagopi follows drive s orders to stay warm members of the herd with success. The wonderful advantage of homeopathy is that there are no ill side effects. Below Wenda and Tim prepare some specific combinations of remedies for some of our patients. Below our curious calves examine the medicines and help unpack them. We got a call that a calf had been lying on the road for two days and immediately sent two men with our vehicle to fetch her. She was so weak she could not hold up her head. She had injuries and swelling on her left side indicating she had been struck by a vehicle. Fortunately she has a good appetite so she is eating more than her share and getting stronger day by day. Upon arrival she could not even sit up what to speak of stand by herself. After three days of care she is able to get up alone and walk around the barnyard. Looks like she's going to make it. Rescue attempt recently Balabhadra Prabha from the International Society for Cow Protection, iscalp http colon slash slash www.iscowp.org slash right parenthesis sent me a copy of the above book by Ralph A. Hain which was published during the 1930s. I am impressed that Mr. Hain, 
an American cow lover who, although not a vegetarian, has such appreciation for cows. His book has much practical information on cow care so I intend to publish a few pages each month for those of you who are interested. For human happiness, one must care for the animals, especially the cows. Vasudeva therefore inquired whether there was a good arrangement for the animals where Nanda Maharaja lived. For the proper pursuit of human happiness, there must be arrangements for the protection of cows. Srimad Bhagavatam October 5, 26 Purport I spent two years in India and some of my dearest memories involve mother cow. From day one I was impressed that amongst the hustle and bustle of the incessant traffic, the cows could remain undisturbed and peaceful as if in meditation. They are a great example for those of us trying to keep our minds fixed on Krishna even amongst the chaotic conditions of Kali Yuga. I was fortunate to have closer contact with many of the cows I crossed paths with. While staying in Shafura, a small village in Madhya Pradesh, a very friendly cow would visit daily for leftover prasadam. It was always a joy to see her eagerly waiting outside the gate. Once she had finished she always let me stroke her and take her blessings, often licking me with affection. The photo above was taken in Bedagat, MP. I was on a Joppa walk with my brother Nidin when we came across a beautiful herd of cows. As I petted one of them, she started to rub up against me showing great affection. I was amazed at how comfortable she was approaching a stranger with such love. A gentleman remarked that if we show animals love they reciprocate. I had experienced this several times, but this cow was very special to me. This went on for over five minutes and I felt very blissful to receive her mercy. A few days later I sat next to the sacred Narmada river to chant. My eyes were closed when I felt something rub against me. Seated on a low wall, I turned and was face to face with a very large cow. I was a little intimidated at first knowing I could easily be knocked into the river. I should have known there was no need to be worried though. She rubbed up against me, letting me pet her for a while and then went on her merry way. It was a beautiful experience and I felt the great happiness one receives from a cow's blessings. They have so much personality and it is clear why Sri Krishna loves them so much. I hope I have more opportunity to serve the cows. Hare Krishna. Get the blessings by Mike Jones A. Gurji Union A. D. I. Sakti Devi Dasi Aditi Sathi Amit Goswami Ananga Manjari and Hershwari Angelika Levina Anil Kumar Anapalaja Kyuka Anuradha Kavlamudi Ariel Telford Artem Pali Galan Avanash Biravalo Bernard Faustino Kate Anya Swami Carl and Stella Hersig Chandrika Pasupati Christian Katzner Dase Ezer Mail Derek Carol Devender Kumar Doyle Govinda Dasa Elena Emilenko Elena Nikiforov Gaurang Gapriya Dasi Gosavaks of Kerala Hamlesh Modajanaki Roman Mano Jason Hopkins. Jayadeva Dasa Johan Wallander Kival Yasundari Dasi Kantalal Shivlal Karl Johan Pedersen Karunika Dasi Kaira Panathai Puranavala Kitri Waterman Krishna Priya Dasi Larissa Suvarava Lilia Tonava Laya Bay Bikova Madhava Priya Dasi Madhavi Guntupali Mandiram Mani and Sri Govinda Mark Lee Mary L. Valerio Mayapur and Kampika Latamina Sunders Thuraman Michael Jones Mohan Prabhu Naidu Nalini Gagar Nayan Ruparelli Anil Narayan May Kao stay in front of me. Make cow stay behind me, make cow stay on both sides of me. May I always reside in the midst of cows. Harry Bakta Vilas 16.252 The cows send their heartfelt thanks to those who assisted during November 2011. Thank you from the cows Paolo Musu Parker Williams Prashanthan Sred Haran Pure Heart Rahul Sharma Rajiv Barol Ramas Dadasa Razamandala Dasi Ravi Gopal Rohini Sudha Dasa Sanjeev Keswani Sradar Rajkumar Srinivasan Ganesan Stefan J. Engling Sukanya Venugopal Svetlana Mujish Kova Svetlana Sanatina Tomas Zalonik Tracy Molina Venkata Venke Teswaran Venkata Shragavan Vijay Sharma Vikas Shah. Vivek Baluya Vladimir Shlepkofya Janavakaya Dasa.